So when you're doing integration by parts, it can be tricky to decide which one is going to be U and which one is going to be V dash. If you look at your example here, which one should you make U and which one should you make V dash? One is going to make it easier to solve, one is going to make it impossible to solve. So uh, there is a little mnemonic that can help people with this. Detail. Now the way that we fill this in is by saying that dv dx, so the derivative of v, v dash, should be, first of all, exponential. If you don't have an exponential in there, try a trig function. If you don't have a trig function in there, try an algebraic function, like a polynomial. Now, if you don't have that, try an inverse trig function. And if you don't have one of those in there, try a log function. This is the order in which you should decide whether you're going to have a V dash. Now, there are always exceptions. This does not always work, but it's a good starting point. So, if I were to look at this question, I'd say, right, what do I want dv dx to be? Is there an exponential in there? No. Is there a trig in there? Also no. Uh, is there an algebraic function in there? Polynomial. Yes, there is. There's x cubed in there. I'm going to stop there. I want dv dx, I want v dash to be x cubed, which means that u is going to be ln x. Now if we jump to what actually happens when you do that, what you get is u equals ln x, v dash equals x cubed. You put it into your formula and you get u v, so u ends up being ln x, and v ends up being the integral of that, x to the 4 over 4, plus, and then an integral of v, which is the integral of x cubed, x4 and 4, times 1 on x. And this is going to be really easy to integrate because it's just going to be x cubed over 4 with respect to x. Easy to integrate. Now, if you did it in the reverse, it would be very, very difficult to integrate. It's a dead end, and you've got to come back to doing something like this. Um, now, I really dislike handing you this because, as I said, there are always uh, exceptions to this, but it is a very good rule of thumb. Okay, so just bear that in mind. What you really should do, or what you should get in the habit of doing, is trying to look into the future. You can do it on a little scrap piece of paper here, because the thing that determines whether you should have done u v dash or v u dash, whether you should have done it one way or the other way, is really what happens in this box here. If this box ends up becoming an easy integral, then that's what you should do. And remember what this box is. It's v, u, dash. So you can think in your head when you're looking at the start of the question and say, right, what will v, u, dash be if I make this v, dash and that u? And look into the future. You can do a little scrap piece of paper and try to get a sense of whether you'll be able to integrate it or not. You can try both in a similar way. Without doing all of this working, just consider what would happen in this box. And whatever answer that is, that's how you choose.